Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we return in Last Day on Earth. Today, we are going to another Chopper event, and this one, I believe, is a little bit different than what we saw last time. I'm very excited to check this out and see what happens. I was playing this last night. I got some footage of it. After this, I'll be announcing the giveaway winners after this encounter as well, so stick around for that. And the new giveaway will be starting. All that info will be later. But right now, I listen, we gotta focus on what's new. And right now, this is new. We come in on a chopper. There's a dude waiting there. What's the dude doing? He's not killing me. What you want? Hey, over here. Help me, please. Oh, you want help? Well, what could possibly go wrong? Well, you want me to keep on following you? Keep up. We're running out of time. How come? Why is there no time? Why such the rush? I have an AK. I hope you're not trying to pull something funny. Oh, what's that on the mini map? What's that? Goodbye. And they try to attack us. Get the hell out of here. You were not ready for what I have. AK Rain is gonna make it pain on you. Look at all these survivors. Ow, I almost died right there. Look, I got the first aid kit down just in time. And I wiped him out. And look at that. That dude had some pretty quality SWAT armor. Some pretty good stuff overall. I cannot get how amazing these rest stops are. In terms of loot. That dude has an M16. Why didn't you give the M16 to the dude with the best armor? These were not the smartest survivors in the world. That dude just had a baseball bat. I feel sorry for him. But then... We got a little bit of a loot bag we could open up. So, okay, I guess we could open that up. Let's see what this potentially contains for us. And so far, it appears... Ooh! I will take some of those. This is a lot of band-aids we're getting. This is more band-aids than we used during the event. And, like, we're getting more than enough guns back. Like, do chopper events. Making a chopper might be one of the best things right now. Because look at what you're able to get. We even got a weapon crate out of that. Let's open that thing up. Weapon crate. Don't disappoint me. Give me something good. I don't know. What, yeah, let's get rid of that. Give me something good, baby. What you got? A katana. Okay, I'll take a katana to the bank. That's a pretty good fast swinging melee weapon. Let's check out this other chopper. See if that has anything good going on with it. Okay. A zip gun and some alcohol. I think you need some alcohol if you're stupid enough to use the zip gun. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The zip gun's actually not super awful. So right now I'm running back to my motorcycle. Try to put some stuff away. But the zip gun's actually not that awful. It's definitely not worth crafting, but if you find one, you could definitely use that down under, down in the bunker against Frenzy Giants. Speaking of that, a little bit later today, I'm also going to be showing you guys how to use the bow properly, at least the best trick I've found to utilizing the bow so far. And along with that, the fact that the bow kind of has unlocked the bunker and made it a lot easier. Like, this update has really made the bunker slightly easier and also better in terms of chopper because you're way more likely to get chopper parts now, which is good. Because we need the chopper parts to get access to awesome events like this one. For real, if you guys haven't seen the other event that happens, if you haven't seen my video uh, yesterday talking about the update, there'll probably be a card that pops up sometime around now. So to make sure to click that and check it out along with me talking about actually everything that the update brought. Today we're talking specifically about the second, uh, second chopper event here. I don't know if there's a third one. I'm definitely going to continue doing all these chopper events letting you guys know hopefully finding out a new encounter but so far we know that there's kind of like the campfire which is from last episode again make sure you check that out and uh there's also this one where it's kind of like an ambush getting lured in from the dev blog this is the two screenshots that they showed so far so i think that that might be it but again it's uh, i'm still gonna continue looking because a these events are freaking dope like if you have a chopper and you have at least like an m16 like go here with like at least a quarter quality quality gun or like even a hat like a half quality just to be safe and it's pretty good because you guys have seen the loot that i'm getting i get multiple rifles each time i get pistols i get some like okay swat armor i get military gear i get a lot of like iron and stuff too like this stuff does not disappoint so far but let's head on back home for now take things from there ah after such a wonderful attack on the chopper people, nothing better than relieving ourselves with a quality old, oh, shower, shower. You guys didn't see the first part. I'm only here to take a shower, totally. But anyways, I hope you guys are having absolutely a fantastic day. Today, as you saw, so last night, that was just some footage that I got that I wanted to show off to you guys of the other type of event. It looked to be some sort of like chopper ambush. Now we're gonna continue riding around the chopper. It's been like about 12 hours since I've done anything. So hopefully like the timers reset on a lot of stuff and we'll be able to do a good amount of stuff right now though i do need to kind of stop the whole naked thing oh my god my wolf got out oh no wonder there was a random wolf attacking me yeah the horde decided to attack again those evil things but while that's going on i'm gonna decide to go and start putting on some of our more broken clothes just because i have quite a lot of them and i kind of do want to save up on some inventory space so when they break 
whatever. They'll break, but I do want to come prepared to take out. But we'll probably be awaiting us at whatever chopper shenanigans we get ourselves into. And if not, we also have the bow. And honestly, why don't we get ourselves an okay melee weapon while we're at it too? Just in case. I think that sounds good. But yeah, I'm very excited to go ahead and start hopping into some of these things. Uh, off camera, I did manage to trap my pet wolf temporarily in the room with the ATV. Just because I didn't want to deal with him at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start dry. Actually, no, I should try to put some of these things away. That's some of the loot we've gotten. Uh, that's the loot we actually got from last time. So I'm going to put that away in... I could put it away in the pickup truck. Tell with the pickup truck. Just don't eat these things up, okay? I'll come back for them later. The loot that these chopper events give, though, it is so good so far. I am freaking loving what we are getting our hands on. But anyways, today is the day. It's the day that the winner of the weekly giveaway is announced. I'd like to say a huge thank you to MJ Baloch. I hopefully I didn't butcher that. But thank you to this dude for entering the giveaway and for winning the giveaway. This was one on the winter video over there. So thank you, my man. I sent you a message on YouTube. Make sure to head over to your inbox and just let me know that uh, I should have sent you a message there. I'll have like a link in the description that you could click to immediately go to your inbox. Don't, I like, I, you can't leave a comment on this video because I've had other people with giveaways try to leave a comment making a brand new account with the guy's same name and picture. And they're just like, oh, it's me. I didn't get your message. Like, no, no, I sent the message. All right, you got to reply to that message. And from there... We will, we will figure it out, we will discuss, and you will have yourself $25 of stuff that you can then utilize on last day on Earth, baby! But before we get into anything too much, I decided let's hop into here, do some shenanigans at the limestone cliffs, probably get attacked by those evil toxic spitters, which got a change in the update, which made them so much more OP. Like, it's, it's awful. You know why? Because you can't, they, you can't dodge them anymore. They will get you hit no matter what, which means it's super easy to get smelly. And honestly, that's the worst part of this update. I was liking the update an absolute whole ton. But then I found out that was a thing. And I'm just like, no, mamma mia, do not do this to me. And they did it to me. Ah, run away. I'll deal with you guys out here. What up, fast biter? Yeah, don't break my clothes, okay? I got to keep these nice and fresh for when we find ourselves a chopper event. Ooh, animal rawhide has a new texture. Did you guys see that? I don't think it's always been like that, and if it has, maybe I'm the one going crazy here. We still got the AK. The AK is going to be used for those chopper events, because I'm definitely not trying to do anything uh, too ballsy. I'm not trying to go in there not prepared. No, I know what those uh, chopper events can do. We've seen them last video. We're going to try continue checking them out today. But yeah, huge thank you to him. Make sure to figure that out. Go to your inbox so we can figure that out. But... Today, we are not just announcing the winner of a giveaway. No new events yet. Okay, we got to use up a little bit more stamina. Why don't we go over to the green forest? That's how you get events to trigger at the end of the day, after all. It's just like running around, using up your energy. And we do have the chopper and a ton of fuel saved up for it. I like saving up the fuel because we do need the fuel to actually go to chopper events. But we could run around using energy while we're on our chopper. Uh, we could just run in between. So it's kind of like a double whammy. But uh, another thing is that today marks the beginning of the next weekly giveaway, so make sure that you guys leave a comment in the description. I'll ask you guys a question, you know, to help you guys out. I'll ask you a question at some point during the video. Well, mainly, I mean, I guess I could do asking you guys about the update, or no. You know, I want to ask you guys, what's your favorite chopper event so far? So I like, I like to give you guys encouragement, I like to give you guys easy ideas on what to comment, and then after that, just make sure you like the video, and make sure you are subscribed, because for the next six videos after this, you will be able to enter into all of them using the same method. And then next Saturday, we will announce the next winner. So it's an absolutely awesome getup. And it's all thanks to the free crate video that I made. If you guys don't know about that, definitely check it out. You can get yourself some free crates alongside, right? Alongside helping support this giveaway, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, those shenanigans aside, let's head back on topic. I'll loot up like a single box here. And then I'm going back. Oh god, that was a thump. That was a that, that was such a that wolf died in such a sad way. I feel awful. <laughs> uh, I'll get some of these things though. I'll eat them up. I'll I'll drink a little bit of beer. Why the hell not? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling some type of way. Some type of way that makes me want to. <laughs> sorry, wolf. That's what you get for opposing me. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit tipsy. You know, I had one too many beers. All right, I'm not 21. So that's what happens if you're not 21 and you drink. You become instantly drink drunkard and you uh, are needing to pee so that is why do not do that under 
<laughs> oh, I come up with the goofiest stuff. All right, let's get back to driving. Let's hope that something popped up. We do have a couple things in our inventory, but like I'm totally willing to drop them for the good stuff at these chopper events. Okay, we're under 50 energy. Events have to start happening. Worst case, give me an airdrop to run to. Come on, baby, give me something. Oh, there's an airdrop. It's, it's out with it. Let's run over there. All right, I might start running. Why don't we head on over to the green place first, use up some of our stamina. Then we'll head to the airdrop. And then hopefully after the airdrop, something will happen. But I'm okay with starting at the airdrop for now. Still, dude, if 1.5.8 was like such a solid update, that makes me hope that the Oak Grove is coming in the next one. That's another thing you guys feel free to leave a comment for. Like I said, at the end of the day, your comment could be anything. I like if you guys part like I like hearing your guys' feedback though, because that kind of like I just love that sense of community we get going. You know, I love the community we have going here. I love talking with you guys. I love reading comments. I love replying to them sometimes. So and I, I love hearing your guys' opinion on what you think about certain things. Because so, it's totally, like, there's no way all of us are guaranteed to have the same opinion, right? Unless they literally, like, delete the app and they're like, this is the final update. Then I'm like, okay, that sucks. <laughs> nah, there'd probably still be someone out there It's like, finally, they gave it the update it needed. Her, <laughs> der, 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 her, her, her. That's my, that's my generic derpy laugh. <laughs> Alright, so we're here at the airdrop, but like I said, go ahead and make sure to let me know. That's another one of the questions I want to hear what you guys think of the two chopper events. If you guys haven't seen the first one, like I said, I'm going to try to get it through the activities of today. But if that doesn't happen, there is the other video as well that can- ah! At least we can still dodge that move, you freaking evil floater bloater. Yeah, that's what you get. Chopped off your arm, I'm gonna put that over a fire and roast it like a ham. Oh, Jesus, that was savage. I'm an awful person. <laughs> uh, but like I was saying, I'd love to hear what you think. You guys are coming. That was English hard. Uh, what you guys think is coming in the next update, because I think with 1.5.8 being like a pretty solid sized update, adding in new events, dude. New events, I don't think that's, not, that's something they've added in in quite a while. So I'm definitely, I, I wouldn't say impressed with that, but I'm more than happy. And they've made the chopper easier to get. So they've added in the bow. Like, that makes me think that maybe the next update will be pretty sizable as well. And that would make me a happy freaking camper, man. I'm thinking maybe, maybe not the next update. But you know what I think? I think 1.6. When it finally hits 1.6 right now, we're in 1.5.8. To be fair, that doesn't mean that after 1.5.9, it's going to be 1.6. That's not how development works. I'm a programmer. You know, I'm a student for computer science. So I know... A little bit of how these things work and I can tell you guys that I've, I've even seen it like Minecraft before it goes up it can go like 1.5.10 so it doesn't mean that in two updates we're getting 1.6 they might be trying to do it that way but no guarantees but I think 1.6 it makes sense that a update with that big of a jump I think 1.6 will unlock the oak groves and unlock a lot of this stuff over the river I could see it but give me your guys' feedback. And also, in terms of the two chopper events, I don't know. Personally, they're both pretty cool to me. That ambush one, I think we got some better stuff out of the ambush, to be completely honest. But I think there were more guys to shoot, too. Although, didn't only two of them have guns? I don't remember. Because I recorded that last night. And I'm, I'm going to talk. I talked over the part where all the things happen. So, I'm going to drop some things off really quickly. Before I do that, I'm just going to step outside. Has anything spawned yet? Or do we need to continue running around? I will continue doing it. I will do anything for these chopper events because they give you really good loot. Like, if you're prepared, you can get some amazing stuff out of this. No, doesn't look like it. All right, well, we'll continue running around, going over to some places. I think with the Bunker Alpha, I think I got all the good stuff out of Bunker Alpha. I wonder if it's reset yet. I totally, because we got some tickets we could definitely cash in. You guys know how many green tickets we have? It's insane how many we have. The stockpile keeps on growing. Like, if I go to the bunker every time, I always get more green tickets than I know what to do with. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys in a sec here. Well, you know what I'm going to try to do? Mm, I got to try and tame our gray wolf back. You know what? Okay. We got to... Uh, I don't know how we're going to do this. But I'm going to try my best. Mr. Gray Wolf, come here. Come hither. Yes, come hither. This way. Okay, don't get stuck right there. Come on. Okay, you know what? To hell with it. I don't need no gray wolf. <laughs> I just murdered my pet in cold blood. I'm an awful person. But I don't care because he gave me some high quality leather. Da -da -da -da. Okay, I'm gonna put this stuff away. Talk to you in a sec. All right, and I think I've organized things a little bit. Uh, like I said, our clothes here are probably gonna break soon, but to hell with it. I will become the naked man. 
After all, I am Pantalones man, you know, though? <laughs> I'm Pantalones man. <laughs> That's my superhero name. If you guys don't know why, oh, you'll learn to find out. Step one, remove the pantalones. Step two, put the pantalones back on. <laughs> it's a very complex process, I know. But alright, back to our shenanigans. You know what we're gonna try to do then is I wanna talk about the bow a little bit. And to show you guys, I've been testing it a little bit more. I wanna show you guys what I've found so far to be kind of the best way of gauging how to shoot it. So we're gonna go to a green zone just because they usually make for pretty easy target practice. Just cause like, most things are pretty slow. There's no toxic spitters trying to attack us, nothing like that. Hopefully something cool pops up. Cause so far it's only been the airdrop. And usually more cool things pop up by now, so... I'm hoping maybe after just a little bit more jogging, things will happen. We still got a day before the bunker resets. I've never been to this area, Limestone Ridge. Why is that one so out of the way? I've never been to that one. I wonder if it has anything unique. It's got the same name, though, so I feel like it wouldn't, but I don't know. Yeah, there's still, like, there's the random green forest that's super far away and the random that thing. Whatever. I don't care about that. You know what I care about? Showing you guys the bow and at least my experience with it. How to be most successful with. For the most part, a lot of it comes down to timing, as you probably know. But I've, I'm at least going to show you guys what I've found to be the best way of timing it. I'm going to practice it on this deer. So, completely stand still. As soon as you start pressing it. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Look at that. Two Mississippi. I'm able to do 17 damage to him. Okay, and that's the best way. Because I know the max damage on this thing is technically 20. There you can see 8 to 20, but if you want to get exactly 20, you are playing a very, very risky game. Here we got a Roman zombie. One misses. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Let's wait. Let's actually be in range. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. There you can see we can do a solid 18. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Solid 16. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Solid 19. So you're just you're able to see I'm do, I'm able to do pretty consistently Pretty close to the max and uh, you know like if if you want to get exactly the max I don't know you have to hold it a little bit longer than that, but it's just super ooh, a lock and key I haven't gotten one of those in this place in forever, but it's just really difficult to do because <laughs> There's a lot less room for error, because if you wait slightly too long, your shot misses and the zombie's coming at you, so... Here we go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. There you can see, solid 17. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Okay, that one was weird. My phone lagged at, like, the worst time. Here we got another Roman zombie. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Nineteen. So just wait until you finish saying Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. But there you can see, like I said, it's still a little bit risky if you wait too long. Oh god, don't lag. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Solid 18. So this is really the best way. If you guys know a better way, feel free to share it. I'd love to spread it. I'd love to credit you for your amazingness. But in the meantime, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Oh no, my phone lagged at the worst time. I swear it works, I swear. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Oh, that one was... I, I, I didn't say it right away after pressing it. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Eighteen. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Oh, I missed that one. Ah! I wonder if they get too close if you're just more likely to miss. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Oh! Shot his head straight off! Did you see that? Talk about brutality, sweet mama! That is savage. Alright. That's enough testing around these parts. Let's see if maybe that event has re-popped up. If it hasn't, I'll continue going around to some of these different areas in the meantime, but I feel- I, I got a good feeling about this. Ah, just another airdrop. Well, I mean, in the meantime, no harm, no foul. I'm going to the airdrops, right? They always got some solid loot. And as you know, I like my loot and runs, so... Yeah, let's drive on over there. Maybe if we drive, they'll remind the game, Yo, I got a chopper, bro. Okay, so pop something in for me, will ya? I want something to get popped in for real. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to put jumbled words together at this point. But anyways, we're going back to this airdrop. Hopefully we can get something good out of this. I would not mind like a pistol. Have I ever gotten a rifle out of an airdrop? I don't know. I think I've gotten a shotgun once. Or maybe I'm hallucinating. I seriously have no idea. But I know something. I know we can for sure get a pistol out of this. And guns are always highly desired. Oh, hello, Toxic Spitter. I'm just gonna try to shoot you. So here's the thing, the bow's still pretty good for like hit and run tactics. 
Hold on. I wonder. So yeah, the spitter. Here's the thing. I wonder if there's a new way of dodging him. I want to see. Yeah, no, I, I was thinking maybe you could like outrun him. You could kind of outrun him this way. No. It's like impossible to outrun him nowadays. I hate that they did that to him. I also hate that I'm not holding my bow long enough. Ah! Don't make me smelly. I wonder what happens if I go... There we go. Shot his head straight off, at least. I wonder what happens if we go to a chopper event. Being super smelly. Either way, though, I love this bow. You know what else makes it amazing about this bow? Think about what you can do in bunkers now. Think about it. You don't need a gun to take out the giant anymore, baby. That's right. If you think about what this bow really has done for the game, technically speaking, you can kill frenzy giants without a gun, which means technically speaking, you can beat, hello, some black paint. This is some solid stuff, eh? Full inventory of that. But yeah, all you really need to make it happen, it's not expensive. The hardest part is probably making sure you have enough duct tape. Everything else you can craft from raw materials. And after that, you craft yourself up a bow. So I guess like duct tape could be the limiting factor, but still, if you think about it, it will solve your problem of taking out the frenzy giant. Cause the frenzy giant's slow. You can just slowly kite the guy, shoot him with the bow. I'm thinking maybe tomorrow I'll show you guys that. But realistically, the frenzy giant's like the one thing that you absolutely cannot melee in that place. So if we now have a method of meleeing him, I mean, you know, I'm just saying, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Like, in terms of making the bunker easier, not only did it make it easier to get chopper parts, but they've also made it easier to, like, actually clear the bunker. Because you don't need a gun anymore for the Frenzy Giants, which means low-level people, as long as you have enough healing supplies and good enough melee weapons, you can really survive this place. Well, not this place. This place happens to be my home. But you can really survive the bunker. And I think that's an awesome part of the bow. Not a lot of people have been talking about. Unless maybe they made the Frenzy Giants freaking Olympic sprinters out of nowhere. Who knows? But I'm naked. I need a shower. And I gotta put some stuff away, so I'll talk to you in a sec. Oh, My baby. I'm sorry you had to die. Do -do -do -do. Shotgun rain. Another one feels the pain. Do -do. Uh, uh, oh, wait, no. I'm sorry. That, that was just me humming to myself in the shower. Why were you looking at me naked? No, you don't want to see me naked. Okay, listen, I'll let you see me without the pantalones, but that's about it, okay? <laughs> don't look at me when I shower, you sick house. <laughs> but we returned. I don't know if I showed you yet this, guys, but this is from when the horde attacked. These two good fellas right here decided to, uh, decided to make some mistakes in their lives. I forgave them for it, but the spikes didn't. Now, they did break my guy out of prison, though, which sucks. We do need to repair some walls. We'll get around to that. Oh my god, how many walls did they break? Sweet mama. I think they even broke these two that were here for, like, science. I don't know. I think I broke those two. Who the hell knows at this point? But anyways, back to the grind. Let's keep driving around. Let's keep seeing if we could get something cool to happen. If not, though, at the very least, I'm happy because we have seen two of the chopper events. And I think that there are only two. Okay, maybe there will be another one we discover. Who knows? But in the meantime, we'll continue driving around. I'll probably try to drive around somewhere pretty far to really kind of, like, try to get that stamina going because right now yeah that thing's gonna disappear in like a minute and a half so hmm all right so i decided why the hell don't we revisit this place because i think i may have left behind like a couple of things that i kind of needed myself oh wait no i didn't well might as well grab some of these i know it's not the best outfit in the world but it's still an outfit and i'm still more than willing to take them here we got some of our broken military and a wheel and I think over here, oh, we still got quite a little bit of good stuff to grab, don't we? Oh, yes, we do. Well, unfortunately, I guess I'll leave behind some of those things. I'll eat up some food. Good thing we don't have to poo, because with the amount of beans that we eat, I think we'd be pooping constantly, okay? We'd be like a poop matic SMG or something. Uh, I could probably grab the blade, too. I'll put away the... Eh, to hell with that. I think we do have a shortage of hats back at home, as weird as that sounds. So I'll kind of invest into those. We do still have a couple of things we could grab from there. Not super important. I'll grab those from a future time if need be. But in the meantime, I'm running around with my bow. Oh no, my bow's about to break. Well, damn. You guys can see just how long it lasted, though. Right about get a pretty good idea. Because I don't think... Did we craft it from scratch earlier today? 
Well, whatever, uh, uh, whatever it was at the beginning, you can see how many zombies we've shot, how many arrows we've shot, and just how the durability is affected. I don't, like, you know what I think, though? I think it is more efficient if you do put back the bowstring. I think the durability goes down all the same. You know, I don't think it actually matters per se. It actually matters how you do it. Or, yeah, I, I don't think it matters how you do it. I think it's always going to cost the same amount of durability, if that makes sense. So, I'm going to try to travel home really quickly. If there are no more motorcycle activities, we may need to give up our search for the time being, unfortunately. I might use up a little bit more gas. Maybe it gets activated when we use up enough gas. Maybe if we go under, under halfway gas, it'll happen. I don't know. We'll check and also toss some of these things away because we got a whole ton more military outfits, man. That's a pretty good haul if you ask me. Today's been an efficient day. All right, we got ambushed. We showed off how to use the bow. We've collected quite a little bit of pretty good stuff that we're then going to throw into the armory. The one safe place in our base. If tomorrow the game became PvP, that, that would still be safe because we got it surrounded in stone. I do want to expand the base, make a lot more of a stone, but we're, we're going to really have to see about that. Now, really quickly. Moment of truth. If I look outside, is there anything new? Is there anything new awaiting me? And if there is, I gotta throw some stuff away. Very Not throw it away, but store it super quick. So we can make our way over there. Because usually the chopper events, you got like six minutes to get there in time. It barely lasts. But no, it's looking like the chopper events are not happening. But still, I'm happy. We got to check out the chopper ambush, and from what the dev blog looked like, I think those are the two chopper events. If I'm wrong on that, please let me know. Okay, I'm going to continue trying to get these things to happen. If they, As they do happen, I'll record them and show them off in the next video as well. But the next video, I am hoping to go to the bunker and show you guys that no longer do you need guns to have a realistic chance at completing that place. Through the magic of the bow, I think your chances will be a lot better. But other than that... That's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys all ton for watching. Again, make sure you are subscribed to know when more videos go up. And if you're subscribed, might as well like and comment already to be entered in that weekly giveaway for the $25 gift card and a chance to win it like my man MJ1 from this past week. But again, a huge thank you to you guys for being an awesome community. Thank you for, I don't know, just thank you for everything. All right. And thank you, I guess, for enjoying my videos. I still can't believe that so many of you guys like them, but I'm happy to be helpful, happy to... I guess be funny. I don't know. Am I funny? I don't like I watch my videos back. I giggle occasionally. Does that make me crazy? <laughs> Who the hell knows? But other than that, it's gonna wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys all ton for watching. Everyone's a fabric fantastic day. And the pantalones. Oh no, I can't take off the pantalones. Okay. Well, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!